Well, hi again, you guys. Welcome to another edition of Curtis Collects Vinyl Records. Wow, we're, we're, this is long overdue. We're going to talk about Robin Trower. So, and we're going to go through the records that I have by Robin Trower, or uh, records where Robin Trower uh, is featured um, in them, except for the Procol Harum ones. That's another episode. So, we are going to play a song from Bridge, Bridge of Size, and there's a little bit of confusion that I have about this. And we'll get into that. Um, so we were over at a friend's house, and he, this uh, acquaintance of mine said, uh, wow, this was, reminds him of college, and this first song um, on side one from this album, they would, of course, do what we all did in college, is put the speakers, face them out to the windows, out into your quad or that part of the campus, and just just crank everything to 11, uh, usually on a Sunday morning, get everybody up and ready. Um, so we're going to play that song, but before that, let's go through the uh, the records I have by uh, Robin Trower. This is uh, called Victims uh, Victims of the Fury, and it seems like the main guys are still here. Uh, uh, Bill Lorden and this guy who sings and plays bass, uh, James Duar or Dewar, and Robin Trower. So I don't know much about Robin Trower. Sorry. That's never stopped me from making an episode about somebody down here. This is really cool album cover. This is called Caravan to Midnight. They're on this great chrysalis imprint. Wow, really, really cool. Look at that. That is totally awesome. Caravan to Midnight. Wow, I hope to play that someday. This looks pretty old. It's got some beautiful wear rings here that I love to see. This is called Robin Trower in, oh, in, what does that say, City, oh, In City Dreams. It's hard to see that. In City Dreams, no idea. This has also Bill Lorden, uh, Rusty Allen on bass, uh, James Duar, or Dewar on vocals, and Robin Trower. So that's really cool. Uh, this was the group that he put together. This might have been a one-off called BLT, Jack Bruce, uh, Bill Lorden, and Robin Trower. One of the classic album covers of all time. I think the bread's a little too thick. I prefer the Pepperidge Farm thin, like an eighth inch toast. Um, I don't intersperse the lettuce. I go kind of a lettuce on the bed. It looks like he's using Rocket here maybe. Um, I like the bacon a little crispier. I see kind of a little bit of a less done bacon. <laughs> That's okay. Oh wow, is this a caraway seed here? That's not the bread that I would I would go with a very thin slice white bread, lightly toasted. I use Miracle Whip, not mayonnaise. Well, that's a whole other cooking episode that we won't do. This is called For Earth Below. Wow, Robin Trower. Same guys, made at the record plant. And here's this one. So, guys, what is the story? Why does this one look like it's in this cream or grayish white? This is in clearly in the green. These are the same records. Um, and then you flip it over. This one's green. This one's this one's kind of turquoise. This is green. So, that's an interesting. If you have this in your collection, which one do you have? Do you have the grayish cream one or the the kind of turquoise green one? So we're gonna do the song. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna play uh, "Day of the Eagle." Let's get it going. Thank you. 
Wow, pretty awesome. I love that. I thought that was a kind of a mid-song breakdown there where they just really bring the tempo down to that really mellower groove and apparently that's the that's the coda, that's the outro. I thought I was going to crank back up there because I haven't really heard this song that much before. So this was from 1974 uh, from Bridge of Sighs, Robin Trower with uh, the classic Day of the Eagle coming in at five, just over five minutes. So uh, these are my Robin Trower records. Hope you guys like this. And it was fun meeting uh, some new friends who uh, turned me on to that song and this artist. So, hope you guys enjoyed watching and listening. This was another edition of Curtis Collects Vinyl Records. And appreciate uh, the comments, subscribing, and the, the uh, thumbs up um, that YouTube uh, allows you to, to click on. That is really great. So, we'll see you guys back here again soon. Thanks again.